Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. I want to first say thank you to everyone for all the support that you've given me the past six, seven, maybe eight months on this channel. I really do appreciate it. You have made my dark months a lot brighter. Thank you. Well, President Trump can say for the next four years that the Georgia runoff was rigged. And now Trump and Pence is working on a way that Vice President Pence can say that the elections was rigged and send it back for another recount. Will this man ever give up this fight he lost this election. It's time for him to bow out gracefully. This kind of whining and finger pointing and blaming just makes him look like a clown. Y'all, I used to be 100% behind Donald Trump. And now I can't wait to see this man go. But getting back to the Georgia runoffs, it was neck and neck all night last night y'all I stayed up as late as I could and it was still going on when I went to bed so I'm not sure exactly what's happened so far if anything tragic has happened anything major has happened I should say I will make another video but by the end of this video you'll know everything that it looks like it's going to happen it's almost a guaranteed shot Y'all, this, this election, I, I watched it for six hours, and uh, it was like watching a, a racehorse race. All the back and forth, I mean, it, it was exciting to say the least. Uh, on Friday, we'll know for sure who's the winner because Friday, the overseas votes will be coming in. This is mostly the deployed military uh, let's just see what happens then. This is going to be 17,000 votes. Now, if, some, if one of the parties wins more than 17,000 in the lead, their votes really is not going to make a big difference. But we still have to wait for them to come in. Y'all, AOC tweeted last night, that the Dems, if the Dems takes, takes control, we could see reoccurring survive, survivor's checks. Now, she didn't really get into what she meant by reoccurring surviving checks. Uh, we don't know if she was talking about reoccurring stimulus checks or reoccurring unemployment boost. She didn't make that clear at all. So nobody knows the story on that. You may see people making videos saying that we're going to get reoccurring stimulus checks. Don't believe that. That is not true. I really don't see that happening. It should happen, but I don't see it. Later uh, last night, Vice President Pence told President Trump that he could not change the election. President Trump was going crazy all last night on Twitter. And y'all, Twitter is, in my eyes, one of President Trump's biggest problems. Why can't he just get off of Twitter and do the job that he was elected to do? Him and that Twitter account is, is what put the wedge in between him, the media, and him, and the Senate and the House, that that Twitter account has caused most of his problems. Y'all right now, I'm going to say that the Democrats will take Georgia and the Senate. And if that happens, there's three things that we can count on. One, Trump will cry it was rigged for the next four or five years. Two, the mooch man will lose his power. He will still be in office, but he won't have the power he has now. 
Three, we will be getting a three a two thousand dollar stimulus check as soon as Joe Biden takes office. Trump is hard at work trying to get Mike Pence to cheat and overturn the elections. Y'all, I just don't see Mike Pence doing this. I believe Mike Pence has too much integrity to do this. I don't think he's going to do it. He will really surprise me if he does. Y'all, at 12.20 last night, well, this morning, it really looks like the Democrats is going to take it. It looks like they've got it. I mean, if something drastic happens, it will take something drastic to make it go the other way. So, as we're waking up this morning, we could be waking up to a whole new Senate. Let's hope so. Y'all, I've told you about this stuff before, but I, I need to tell you again because there's people that may have not heard it, and it's that important. Scams for your stimulus checks. There's people that's going to be saying that they can help you get your stimulus checks faster. These will be as emails, text messages on your phone. They're going to contact you any way they can, saying that they can help you get your stimulus check faster. Y'all, this is a scam. Nobody can help you get your stimulus check faster. If your check is going to be mailed to you and you have moved, please go to the post office and put in a change of address form. They will forward it to you. But now, if you are getting a paper check, another scam, another way you're going to lose your check is people taking it out of your mailbox. Check your mail every day around the time that the mail normally runs and keep a close eye on it every day. Well, there are some people out there that's looking for opportunities and they will not mind taking your check and cashing it and leaving you without anything. So be sure and watch it. Y'all, I don't know if anything major has happened since, since I went to bed last night. I uh, hadn't checked it yet this morning, but I will check it. And if anything major happens, I will make another video and let you know about it. But at the time that I went to bed, and like I say, I hadn't checked it this morning, the Democrats was taking it. Uh, let's just hope they continue to take it. Y'all, Joe Biden has said many times, and he just said it again, yesterday or day before yesterday that as soon as he takes office he will approve two thousand dollar stimulus checks he did not say that it would be minus the 600 he said two thousand dollar checks so we don't know if it's going to be the 600 i mean the two thousand dollars or minus the six so we'll have to wait and see on that i just hope that he can do this you know, Donald Trump said that he tried, and he couldn't do it. Uh, we did find out that he does need the Senate and the House to approve it. So I think Joe Biden is going to need the same approval, but I do believe Joe Biden can get that approval because there's not that wedge in between him and the House and the Senate. Donald Trump placed that wedge between him and the House and the Senate and the media he only has himself to blame for that. Y'all, we will get out of this. And I think better days are fast on the way. Uh, the, Y'all, I'm. please don't misunderstand me. I am not Democrat. I am registered as a Republican. And now I wonder why. So, I call it down the middle. If the Republicans needs to be bashed, I'll bash them. If the Democrats needs to be bashed, I'll bash them. I am not a party. I'm an American. I wish we had more people like that. But some people will stick behind their party no matter what. No matter if they know they're wrong, they'll stick behind them. That's just 
That's not how you build integrity. Y'all, I love you all. We will get through this. Just keep your faith in Jesus Christ. It's not going to be that much longer. We're getting, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. We just have to keep pushing. Y'all, I love you all. Please watch the video that's popping up here now. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave your thumbs up. Leave your comments. And please, as always, use my videos as your sounding board. Say what you feel. Get it off your chest. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Just hold, don't hold back. I would ask you not to use foul language, but don't hold back on your comments. Say what's on your mind. Say what's on your heart. I love you all. Ciao.